looking at calming stress and anxiety in your animal today. And for that, we're going to be working with the meridians. So the meridians are electrical currents that flow in different directions, depending which meridian it is, throughout the body. The animals have them, we have them as well. And when there is stress anywhere, any level of stress, what can happen is the meridians flow, the electrical current can suddenly flip and go the other way. And that creates more work for the body to do. It affects the organ systems, it affects the behavior, the mood of the animal. So it's really important to keep the nervous system happy. We need to look at two areas, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. So we're going to be running two meridians. They echo each other. So the one starts in between the top of the hind legs where the pubic bone is. So what you'll need to do is with two fingers, get your fingers as close as you can. You don't need to touch the animal. Your fingers are acting as a magnet. So if you think of when two magnets are being attracted to each other, they feel that pull without even touching. So this is what's happening here. There's that magnetic attraction and now you are running a line which represents that meridian line, that current up the torso through the midline of the body you go as far as you can and then you connect remember it's that magnetic attraction that will make sure that the line is run co correctly even when you have gone through the legs and haven't gone above every spot and this is where you end the meridian will need to be run three times, so getting as close to the pubic bone as you can with two fingers up the midline of the body, under the chin and just ending under the bottom lip. Remember you don't have to touch. Those lines, those currents are already in the body so the body knows what to do. So part B of the nervous system meridian is at the back starting at the top of the tail and running again on the midline two fingers up the back so this you want to do above the body otherwise if it's on the fur it will push the fur the opposite direction which won't be comfortable here you're ending just above the snout hello and if the animal allows you can give a little touch or not as long as you are within a centimeter or so above the body. You need to run the meridian three times. So doing it again from the top of the tail, up the midline of the back, over the head, keeping the midline and ending just above the snout. Once more. And as you get more familiar with it, you can run it a little bit faster. However, it is more effective to run it slow. It doesn't need to be super slow, but this sort of speed is effective.